Bulldogs Hockey presents the University of Minnesota Duluth Bulldogs versus the University of Minnesota Golden Gophers live from Mariucci Arena. Well, we've seen everything else here tonight. Why not uh, a penalty shot as well? There you see the puck put on the dot as you take a look at the infraction and no doubt about it, he took him down and Jago was ahead of the closest defender. He was in all alone and there you see the puck on the dot. What do you do in a situation like this? You go, you're the goaltender. Uh, I'm watching uh, uh, Shots are more percentage with him. I mean, you have to judge if he's, if he's way back in the net and you got to half the net, shoot it. But I would generally look for a deep to beat Stauber. That's what I've seen consistently beating him. Not consistently, but when he is beaten. We'll find out. Here we go. Jago going right in. He shoots and scores! Dale Jago scores on the penalty shot, and the Bulldogs break the shutout, and what a great move by Jago. He came in, let Stauber commit, and then he puts it home, and the Bulldogs are on the board. Dale Jago puts it home on the penalty shot. Here we see it again. Stauber was beaten last night on this same move. So that's a defenseman, folks. So Jago, as you took a look at it from what he saw, saw Stauber go down and then... Ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor to present to you the 2004 Hobie Baker Memorial Award winner, Junior Lassard. Where do you start with Junior Lassard? Probably the first game, because he almost didn't make it. Lassard nearly drowned last summer in a freak swimming incident off the loose park point in Lake Superior. A rare riptide current pulled he and some friends away from shore before rescuers helped them reach land and arrived to the hospital. Lassard rebounded with a new lease on life. Entering this weekend's national championship tournament, Junior was a nation's leader in total points and goal scoring. The senior forward from St. Joseph de Beauce, Quebec, is the seventh Minnesota Duluth Bulldog to be named a Hobie finalist. Lassard's scoring exploits helped him to a first place tie in the WCHA League points, earning him first team All-Star honors as well as the illustrious title of Player of the Year in the tough WCHA. The English major helped the Duluth Bulldogs to a second place WCHA finish and their first NCAA Frozen Four appearance since 1993. Following an injury in the WCHA third place game, Lassard bounced back, making the NCAA Midwest Regional All-Tournament Team.